Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. We're now going to be doing issue 12 of the IXO Collections release of Build the Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. Now issue 12 consists of stages 33 to 36. Looks like we're doing a lot of work on the brakes and the axles. Uh, as I said, the magazines are in French. I have got English instructions on the screen, uh, but if you wanna go over to the IXO Collections website, and I have put the link down here, not only can you order this for yourself, but you've got the English instructions on there as well. I tend to just look at pictures, to be honest with you, so it doesn't make the blindest bit of difference to me at all. But let me show you what we're gonna do. So as you can see, we've got some axles in there which we're gonna mount these sections, which we were working on in the last stage. Just put them to one side. Uh, and that's basically all we're gonna be doing on this. I think we'll probably end up attaching that to the vehicle. Yes, we do attach that to the vehicle at the end so that we will be ready to pretty much attach some tires. We have got the uh, brake lines going in for that as well. Uh, and by the end of it, as you can see, looking just like that all ready for the wheels to be attached now if i just show you where we're up to at the moment because this is a really exciting and detailed build this is where we finished up last time as you can see we haven't actually attached this piece onto here yet that's what we still have to do uh, quite impressive and there's the engine there looking pretty amazing we do have some other bits from earlier stages which we haven't done anything with at the moment obviously we've got the lovely metal bonnet there we've got the grill looking like that uh, and we've got some of the front details of the vehicle and finally the iconic uh, fender there bumper whatever you want to call it with the reg on there uh, and we do have some free gifts as well one of them I'm wearing at the moment uh, and we do have this great metal plaque which I'm going to use to display uh, on the case which I do have the case for this as well already for when it's finished uh, to put it in the case I haven't built the case up at the moment it's flat packed at the moment but without further ado let's get cracking so the first thing we wanted to do is take the axle here now this is metal everything is metal on this build it's pretty amazing and we're going to just insert the left mount looking just like this onto this end and make sure you get the right one uh, i'm just seeing if it is labeled it is you've got a little l inside there the other one's identical but it has got r inside there so we're going to be using this one it has got a, a semicircular fit so it can only go in one way and that goes in like that we then want to take the left brake components uh, looking like that and that's actually going to be attaching to the end of this side here and once again using that semicircular hole this is going to go in just like that it's going to be held into place with a screw that's a jm screw now as you can see i've got this new workstation which is uh by the folks over at model designs hopefully they may be back up and running later in the year uh, but the advantage of this is my oil pot now as you can see is just at the back just in there so i can just touch that in because i do put a little bit of oil on these especially going into metal now the jm screws are flanged so i'll just put that in there like this and you know it's in because it should hold its own weight in there i should still be able to turn it a little bit there just to be able to get it into the right position but that's that stage complete we're then going to be putting the rear torsion bar in, looking just like that. That's going to go into the hole that we can just see right there. So it's actually going to run parallel with the bar we just put in. And we want to keep all of this into place. So we're going to be attaching the right hand side axle mount now, which is going to go in there. And we're obviously going to put the torsion bar just into the hole opposite so that they fit perfectly in like that. We're then going to be adding the front torsion bar, which is the finished one. This is just going to go into the hole that we can just see on this side here. I'm going to put that in one side like that, just to make sure that fits perfectly in there. And then we're going to be closing this off by adding the brake components from the right hand side into these three holes here. I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit tricky. <laughs> but the easiest way to line it up is to put that top front torsion bar in first and then rotate it round making sure that the front torsion bar here goes in as well very fiddly <laughs> making sure that's all the way in and then once again we want to secure that with a jm screw which i've already got lined up here and 
and there we go that's all the way in and that looks just like that when it's finished very tricky but when we've got all of that in place that's all there is to do in that stage now stage 34 we're working on the brake discs and caliper so i'll get all of these out we're going to be bringing this over because the first thing we're going to be working on is the right hand side which is this one here it is labeled r in the bottom there and we're going to be putting the mounting bracket looking like that on the back of the brake components here that's just going to go into the two holes that we can see out of the three here probably best to look at the picture for that because i am aware that with black details on black metal is very hard to see on camera but i've pushed that in when that's in it should look just like that we're going to do the same on the left hand side one just into those two holes there line them up and then push them in the holes simple as that and there we go that's the left hand side one as well then we're just going to be putting these right brake and left brake parking levers in they are semi-circular lugs on the bottom of these so they can only go in one way so i'm going to push one in this side here just like that and we do exactly the same on the other side see i haven't got my uh magnifying glasses on today but because of that semi-circular lug it means they can only go in one way then we're going to be putting the calipers here just over the two holes that we can see on each section here facing this way round going to be held in with dm screws so i'm just lining that up not too bad when you've got the first one in let's do the second one and then just make them nice and tight one and two turn it around do exactly the same on the other side here line up the caliper and then put a screw in that's one and just one here until that caliper is in place again tighten it up absolutely perfect and there we go that's the calipers in looking like that and then we have got the brake discs here but we don't fit them in this stage because that's all there is to do now this is everything we've got in stage 35 the first thing we're going to need is the shock absorber cylinder looking just like that and we're going to want the left uh, brake components here this is just going to be going on the left side just over the pin just like that there it's going to be fixed in on this side with an fm screw got one of them here as you can see it's a flanged screw just going to drop that in a tiny bit of oil and then put this in if anyone is wondering the oil is just a three in one oil just your general purpose they are in my amazon store at bit.ly forward slash world away and there you go that's the shock absorber cylinder in we could put that to one side because we are actually going to be working on the suspension now we need the shock absorber piston and we also need the frame for it this is all metal by the way <laughs> it's absolutely crazy how much metal is in this but quite simply this is going to go as you can see we've got two holes in the side this is going to go into the top hole just like that it's going to be held in with an mm screw Quite big ones these ones i'll line this up it's going to be going in from this side here so i'm just going to make sure it goes through all of the parts just like that and then we'll screw that to keep that all the way in make sure it goes all the way in because you do want it to come out that side there because obviously you don't want this arm coming out we've then got a spring here that we're going to be putting over that arm there just like that then we're going to be bringing over the axle that we worked on last time the piston is going to be going into the end here with the spring and then we're going to be attaching the bottom section here it's probably best to look at the pictures to be honest with you to the base of the axle now it's going to be held in Oh, you're going to need to compress this a little bit it's going to be held in with an mm screw again going through the same side that we did last time now you know you've put it in right because it should fit over the lug just at the top there turn it back around and now i'm going to try and line all of this up so i can get that screw all the way through which i've done and then quite simply 
just screw that all the way in and there we go that's in just like that we can put all of that to one side because we need to bring over the floor pan that we worked on in the last stage turning it upside down and working on this side here we're just going to be attaching this frame piece on now this once again is metal and that's just going to fit into the holes that you can just see on this side here so it's going to go in just like that and that's held in with am screws now this is going to take three am screws so i'll put one in the middle first that'll hold that into place One on the far side here. And one just on this side over here. So when that's in, that should look just like that. And then just in front of it, we've got this other brace here, smaller bit of metal, it goes this way around with the bend facing the part we just put in. It's gonna sit in just like that. Once again, it's gonna be held in with two AM screws. Then here's the second one. And then tighten those fully up. So now that looks just like that. I'm gonna put that to one side and we're bringing over the last pack that we've got in this stage. Just gonna cut this out without cutting these brake cables. <laughs> Lots of parts in this, and we're gonna mirror what we've pretty much just done. So, bringing over the axle again, we're gonna take the uh, cylinder, looking like that, putting that over the end there, we're gonna hold that in place. Once again, I believe it was an FM screw. So I've got that here, drop that in a bit of oil, put this in this side and make that nice and tight. Just like that. We can put that to one side because we're gonna be building the rest of the components here. So we need this one here. We're gonna be putting the piston in the top like that. Once again, putting that all together with an MM screw. Just drive an MM screw through both of those parts, which is fit perfect. And we'll screw that in. just like that that holds everything together then we're going to be putting the spring over the part just like that bringing it over to this here we're going to be putting this whole end here just over the lug here so that's going to go on top just probably best on the top camera actually just like that and then once again we're going to put an mm screw through this side here Put it in a bit of oil just so I can get that all the way through and then just tighten that up completely so when they're in they should look just like that once again we're going to bring over the vehicle we're going to mirror what we did on this side here but we're going to be putting it on the other side now so the first piece is just going to go on top like that and that's going to be held in with AM screws I'll put one in here, one in the middle. You will notice that every single screw that I'm putting into metal, I do drop in this oil because it really does make your life a lot easier. Getting some of these screws in can be a little bit hard, especially with the amount of metal on this build. And then once again, we've got this piece here, which is just gonna go into the channel here. The difference between them, obviously we've got the red section on this here. So I'll put this in, one in this side here, make it nice and tight. And lastly, just one on the other side. Just like that. So now that looks like that on both sides. Now the fun begins. We're actually gonna be attaching the axle to the vehicle and as you can see we've got the two holes for this to go in it's going to line up in here so the first one's going to go in that side second one's going to go in that side it just dropped it absolutely perfect there we're going to be securing it down with two screws here they're bm screws 
So here's the first one. And again, make this nice and tight. You don't want this axle falling off the car. And the second one is just going over this side here. Then if we turn the vehicle over here, we've got two screw holes in this side again for some BM screws. So one in this side here. And one just in the other side. Just like that on that side. And now that looks like that from underneath. Now we're gonna be putting the brake cables in. We've got two of these, one's long, one's short. The longer one is gonna be going on the right hand side, the right parking brake. So that's gonna go on this one just here. And basically it's gonna go through the hole that we can just see there, like that. And it's gonna to attach to the parking lever piston that we put down the bottom. I am gonna need my glasses and my tweezers for this. And there we go. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side with the shorter lead this time. So once again, that's gonna go through the hole at the side here, just like that. And it's gonna be going into the parking lever, which again, I need my glasses and my tweezers to put this in. That's gone in perfect. And that's both of the brake lines in place there. All we need to do lastly is to culminate together, bring over the main vehicle. This is just gonna fit on top without pinching any wires. Get them out of the way, just like that. I'm gonna push that down just like that. It's gonna be held in with LM screws. Three screws for this. And the good thing about this is now you can see how big the vehicle actually is going to be. <laughs> Get these in nice and tight. And there you go. They're in nice and tight there. Just going to turn the vehicle over because we're going to be doing a little bit of tidy on all of these brake lines that we've got here and basically these back ones here are just going to go through the channel that we've got in the middle there so one this side just like that and then one this side just going through the channel here and what does that mean so we've got two coming through this channel here we've got one coming out this side and then we've got two coming from the engine towards the back of the vehicle here the last thing we're going to do is now put these cables just through the two holes that we can see here and here so the right hand one goes through that hole there all the way through and then the left hand one which just trying to find where this goes here it is We'll be going through the other side here. Pull them through so that they're nice and tight. There we go. So then we've got these two brake lines coming from the front here. The one that goes through this section here is gonna be going onto the other side of that brake parking lever at the back there. Now the way this works is that we have got a little hole for this to go in here, which I'm just gonna push through like that and then that's going to be connecting to the other side of the brake just over here but we do need to run this cable through the channel of the brake disc now this is going to be going quite a bit uh, delicate operation this one we want this to go underneath this cable like this round the brake disc underneath this section here and it's going to attach to the peg that we just have probably best on the top camera at the bottom of the caliper there this cable is slightly long so I am going to trim it 
and then quite simply we'll just put this cable on the nipple here and when that's on that should look just like that we're going to be doing the same with the cable on this one here so once again it's going to go through this hole here underneath the cable here just like that round underneath this section and then once again it's going to attach to the caliper I am going to cut a little bit of length off this cable this one doesn't need as much and again just push this in and that's both of those done so now we've got one cable doing nothing here which stands out the cables from the front now are connected here and the cables from the back here are going through the bodywork here and coming out this side just here and that is all there is to do in that stage you know what when i first looked at the instructions for that i thought this is going to be a fly through this will be easy but god it's fiddly and working with all that metal great build if you want to get this for yourself once again i'll put the link down here for ixo collections you'll be able to get this uh, rumor has it they do have a porsche coming out this month which is going to be good so uh, if i've got any more information regarding that i will put it on the social media channel so you can see that for yourself but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care